So you're looking at the Waikiki skeleton in Andawailelis, estimated at being, or carbon dated at being 900 years old. And we have a gentleman with us. Could you tell us who you are and Hi. what your profession is? <laughs> My name's Lee Smith. I'm a physician. Um, I'm an emergency physician by trade, so uh, pediatrics is, uh, is not my specialty, but I am looking at a, at a skull, and uh, it appears to, uh, by the size, to be that of a, of a child. The first thing that catches your eye is on the top is the sort of diamond shaped, if you will, what would be called the anterior font. Now, we're all born with, but to be good, closes. Um, you know, the, the soft spot is, you know, lay people sometimes describe it. It's one in the back and there's usually some on the side, but they're real small. But by 18 months, that should be closed, so it's very suspicious that that's open. So that uh, would lead you down the path of saying that, you know, it's a pediatric thing, plus the size of the skull looks to be that of, of a child. But then as you look at the teeth, those are certainly um, well-developed. Um, you'd have to actually count. There are 20 teeth in the uh, pediatric population and uh, 32 supposed to be in the adult population. Uh, so these would be the deciduous teeth, but you get the two incisors, the lateral incisors and the canines. So this would be like a premolar up and down. And it's not clear because I don't see any eruptions from down below that would lead you to believe that there's something else coming on. So it's so it's it's very uh, it it's odd. I mean, I don't know that this could be easily put together as as some kind of ruse, but uh, it's certainly a confusing picture. And then on on your side over here, if you, it, I'm assuming that this is sort of an adult skull here, right? But if you look right above the the ridge here, just posterior to the eye. There, there's a little prominence of the of the bone here that we call the, the temporal ridge where all the muscles attach to. And on the younger child, there's a deficit in there, like it the bone has been not quite right. It's not present on this side, and I can't say if that's traumatic or what. But then you look at the ribs, and those are well developed. Um, you know, and uh, a child's rib cage is much more compliant than an adult's. So that leads you to think that it's an older, because it's the, the calcium in there too. So it's, what I'm seeing is confusing picture. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, one thing is <clears throat> they have actually x-rayed the head mm -hmm. and they found no presence of secondary teeth coming out. Okay. Should, should that be present even in a very young no. human? No, you're, you, I mean, they're called deciduous teeth or milk teeth because, you know, they fall off just like the leaves of a tree. and. You know, they start, uh, you know, they, they erupt, you know, start around six months and then, you know, they, they all get pushed out secondarily by the permanent teeth, if you will. Um, but they can last up until you're 12 years old before your permanent teeth come in. Uh -huh. But if, if this were, were an adult and those are permanent teeth, um, that's a very uh, odd looking adult with some very pediatric features. Uh -huh. So, Certainly very strange. Well, could you in any way estimate the how old this person would be at the time of death? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I, w I wouldn't even venture a guess. It, it wouldn't even be um, anything other than that, just a wild-ass guess. And are there any medical conditions that you can think of that would cause this head to be this shape? No. Well, finally, are we, in your mind, are we looking at a Homo sapiens sapiens? Good question. 
Um, I cannot tell you the answer to that. I hope. <laughs> but even the femur, I mean, the, the radius in the arm there is well developed, as is the ulna and the radius there. And the, uh -huh. uh, it certainly has a lot of things that make it look, low, you know, like an older, you know, uh, some of the bony structure appear to be a doll like. Uh -huh. huh. I don't know. And we also have an American yeah. nurse with us, and um, we would like her to give her, if she wants to, she can tell us who she is and just give us her observations as to what she's looking at. Hi, I'm Noelle Evers, and um, I'm really struck by the narrowness of the eyeball sockets which is actually seeing the narrowness of the jaw it's kind of the pointiness of it I don't that seems out of place to me I don't understand it and um, I don't have any kind of expertise with pediatrics but certainly the teeth just look almost like somebody placed them in there it doesn't look like it even belongs to that skull but I I trust that, um, you know, that is as it was found. Uh -huh. So it, it just seems very strange to me. And um, I, I, I can't really comment on the, the ribs as were commented on earlier as being well formed or not. I, I just, I'm not a pediatric nurse, but uh -huh. it's the face more than anything, the narrowness of the eyeball sockets, continuing on down to the pointiness of the of the chin and those large teeth that just, uh -huh. to me, are, are the most striking features that are so anomalous. Yeah. Well, I've, you know, I've, I've seen it from within a foot because I've seen it outside the glass case. So one thing I definitely looked at were the teeth. And he would have to have had exceptionally good uh, carving tools of some kind to be able to shove those teeth in yeah. because from my observation, as amateur as it is, the contours of the sockets and the contour of the teeth themselves match like very well, uh -huh. but with no evidence of, uh, of there being any cutting into the, the sockets in order to get those teeth to fit. Right. Yeah, you would destroy the, the actual piece, the, uh, just trying to fit something like that in and that would just be, that wouldn't make sense. I, I trust that those are as it was found. So in your estimation, are we looking at Homo sapiens sapiens here? <laughs> I, uh, th that is not any, any kind, no, I, I can't, that's something I, I really don't have any understanding of because it's not anything that I'm familiar with. Right. It, I mean, the skull over here on the right, I think, is given as an example of a normal skull. And it's uh -huh. an adult, right. or, presumably, but... Um, the difference is stri it's, it's striking. It's, it, I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's, it's like I say, quite anomalous. And I, I, I don't... It, it has me scratching my head. Okay. Yeah. That's more or less the opinion of any medical profession who has looked at it. <laughs> yeah, it's um, quite extraordinary. Ah, thank you.